and this is the starting engines before starting engines and starting engines. And these are asked, the questions are asked, basically. Um, and they've got to be answered by the pilot who's doing the starting. The first ones are just seat and rudder pedals, seat belts fastened, doors and hatches secure, flight controls unlocked, full travel, fuel transfer valves, switches off and centered there in the back, landing gear and flaps, mags, masters off, pre-oil each engine. All right, this is what we do. We pre-oil each engine. We wind each engine over. Fuel boost pumps on. Fuel cutoff switches closed. Fuel boost pumps off. Fuel cutoff switches open and closed. All right, now. Open and guarded. Yep, yeah, idle cut off. Boost pressure off, on. Boost in whichever engine you're going to start. One, two, three. Mags off. And the magnetos are off. There's an idle cut off. Your throttle is cracked a little bit, just a little bit. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to wind up the starter. When the starter winds up to a certain RPM, which you'll recognize, you'll open the mesh switch to rotate the engine. You swing nine blades. You'll count them. One, two, three. You'll count the blades. After nine blades go by, you open the mag circuit. Keep the engine running with the primer until the engine starts to smooth a little bit, and then you go to idle rich on your mixture for that engine. One, two, three, four. Whichever engine you start. So that's basically what you do once the engine is running and you watch your oil pressure comes up within a few seconds. Uh, you watch your oil pressure. Make sure the oil pressure rises. Usually you want about 75 pounds of oil pressure on start. And uh, fortunately in this airplane they're pretty good. The engines are pretty good actually.